Yo, what's up, dudes? So, uh, something new today. We have, any guesses? I'll give you one guess. <laughs> anything, anything at all. This is a Donner electric guitar. I know, shocking. Um, this is uh, solid body electric, if, I, if, I, if what's in here is what I think it is. Uh, S style and a um, little bit nicer than I think some of the guitars I've tried with them before. A lot of the guitars uh, that I've had here have been more like the $150 to $200 range. It's just more like the $250 range. So a little bit nicer specs. Let's see what the little bit of extra money gets you. And uh, we'll check it out. So let's start by getting it out of its box. Here we go. All right, here's the guitar. The, uh, all right, looks like maple neck, rosewood fretboard. Looks like it's a dark green. It's really dark though. How much that's gonna come out on camera? It is green though. It's got a color. It's not black. Or maybe it's blue. No, no, it's green. All right. And then we have well, we have a couple of tags, and then we just have some string protection here. that, like this, and I think that's it, here we go, take this off, and the old little switch cover there, and let me just move this table forward a little bit, so you can see it a little better. It's a good looking guitar. Um, a plastic. Can I catch an edge of this? Yeah. So we have plastic on the pickups. Let's just pull, pull that off. Right, right, right. I can get a. It actually wraps down and around the pickup. I may have to do that. I can get this one. I may have to do that middle one off camera and just grab a little screwdriver to catch an edge. All right, there's the, there's the bridge pickup. It's a mint green pickguard. I don't know if that's coming out on camera, but it is mint green. And then lastly, can we do a... There is roughly what it looks like. Again, it's a green body. Very dark, though. Very dark green, as you can see. I think if you look at it on Amazon, it looks a lot lighter. So, unless this isn't, you know, unless this is black. But I don't think so. It looks green. I will take some um, shots of it with my um, with my phone uh, and I'll really light it up and you can get a better sense for the color because it, it does look it, admittedly it looks a little dark on camera here maybe this camera here is giving us the best the best look anyway let me uh, plug it in tune it up and we can check it out. Give me a minute. See you in a sec. 
Yo. We're back. So, uh, a funny thing happened after I turned off the camera. It was, uh, it was pretty late. I said, you know what? Let me record the rest of this tomorrow. But I woke up the next day and I was, I was pretty sick. So, uh, I have been, <laughs> you can probably hear it in my voice. I've been a, a little out of it for a few days, but I'm back. I'm finally feeling well enough to come on and and shoot the second half of this video. My God, it's uh, my, my longest video ever. So I did a little bit of sleuthing. It's not a lacquer. That's just the terminology that they use on the description. It's not a lacquer body. It's a poly, uh, I think it's polyurethane. I forget if it was polyurethane or polyester, but it's, it could be polyester. Um, the color, I think, is black, but if you look at it, maybe in this camera over here, you can see it's actually like a really, really dark blue. I think under the uh, under like a bright light, it would come across as, a, I think, a really, really dark blue, uh, more than a um, more than a black. But on camera, and certainly when you just glance at it from across the room, it looks black. When you get up close, you're like, oh, that has a little color to it. You know, it's not. It's not actually black. It's more like a either a really, really dark, dark blue or a really, really dark, dark green. At first, I thought maybe it was the other green, and it's just that on camera, you know, under the lights, it looks nice and bright green, and when you get it, it's actually much darker in person. No, because I've seen the other ones, and they are much lighter. This is definitely not the green. This is uh, almost certainly the black. You can see it right there. And, uh, you know, I think like a lot of their other guitars, I am really happy with how dark they make the fretboard. It's nice and rolled. Um, this is one of their premium guitars, so it's an alder body instead of the poplar body. They really roll the frets and the fretboard really nicely. Um, a little bit more attention to detail. They use their special uh, Korean-made pickups, you know, in this one. Um, and you can just look at them and see the staggered beveled pull pieces and say, oh, you know, it, it seems to be a, a touch nicer than, you know, some of the other single coils where they're just straight across. Um, so, you know, it, in terms of quality... I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a really, you know, nice, one of the nicest Donners I've played, without a doubt. Uh, I'd say the weakest link is probably the bridge, you know. Um, uh, the, you know, you could see yourself, you know, replacing that with like a really nice a Wilkinson bridge or something like that. Uh, and, you know, and, and the, maybe the tuners, but I, the tuners are actually uh, very um, stable. You know, I don't feel like, oh, geez, you know, it's got bad tuners. You'd have to replace those right away. Uh, it's just a matter of maybe you want to get the locking ones or something like that. Uh, I, I wouldn't feel the need to change the tuners um, or the pickups, you know, in this one, or really even the bridge. But I could see, you know, uh, you know, maybe putting something in with the really nice, you know, graphite saddles or something like that. Uh, because the cost on these are so low. You know, it's such a mod shop, you know. It's, it's, it's like ready to be modded. Um, you, know, you don't feel bad about... You know, uh, dropping, you know, 40 or 50 bucks on a bridge because you didn't drop $500 on the guitar, you know. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's a, a pretty good, uh, I think from head to toe, one of their best quality guitars, without a doubt. And as you saw in the other video, it, you know, it comes with a bunch of little, uh, you know, accessories along with it. And anyway, this is the humbucker. And then with the middle, does this have a coil? It does have a coil tap. So there's two single coils. 
Here's the middle. Here's the front two. And then here's the um, the the neck. Helps if you play the right notes. Again, the the that's position five. Position four. Position three. Position two. You can hear that humbucker. I'm gonna pull that coil cut again. You can hear it pop much brighter. Versus this. A lot more mids there. And then lastly, the humbucker. And here's the humbucker in single coil mode. Under a, a distorted uh, tone, let's go to a clean tone. People always swear that they can't hear through distortion. Okay. Let's go clean. And I, I kind of like this um, this sort of tweedy sound. I think it's... Uh, I'm just going to bring this... Uh, this volume up. Yeah, there's the neck. Here's um four, so neck in middle. You can hear that spank come through. Let me make sure these are all up. They are. Here's the middle. And then here it is with the uh, bridge. You can hear how bright it is. I mean, um, mid-pushed it is. It, it, unless I pull this out. Then it drops a little bit. Um, do I have that all? I do. Right? Push it in. Right, you can hear it uh, change to a more mid-range push because we have three coils on instead of two. And then here we have the humbucker. And then the humbucker in single coil mode. Give you a little. start to break the amp up a little bit once we hit that humbucker and uh what else do we have here i think i have my little um sort of like my little bit more marshally
Yeah. Pretty good tones. Let's see if I can get this in cam. Right there. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, and it's a heavier guitar. I think with the alder body, you know, versus the, um, you know, the poplar body that's in the other uh, Donners that I've tried out. And, um, I, you know, again, you can just see that there's a little bit more attention to detail, I think, on this one than the, you know, than the other ones. Um, I will leave a link in the description for more information. And um, I don't know when you're watching this video, but at the time I'm recording this video, it's sort of right before Christmas. And while the guitar lists, I think, about 250 bucks, um, you do see it on sale quite a bit. I think this guitar is like 259 normally or 299, something like that. But um, I think if you if you go on and, and check, they they do like coupons and sales from time to time. I think you can actually get it for substantially less. So I don't want to quote a price because it just varies and it's it's hard to know where it's gonna you know be at when you when you're actually viewing this video. But um, uh, you know, Don is pretty good at, at, at getting the sales and and um, you know putting uh, actually pretty hefty discounts. You know, like fifty, sixty, seventy dollar discounts. So it's um, you know just something worth checking out if you're if you're interested in getting. An alder body, uh, you know, maple neck. And I don't think this is rosewood. I think that is, um, well, like the other ones, the, uh, um, the laurel, right? Indian laurel, uh, fretboard. But like the other ones, you know, they treat it and make it look nice and dark and nice and consistent. And I really like that. I really do. It probably looks a little lighter here because it's all in right contrast to the surroundings. So I think on that, uh, on the white telly and on the brighter like silver guitars, the, the fretboard looks a little darker because it's all relative, right? But uh, no, this is actually uh, again Donna. They're just I think they've just been really kicking ass lately. I, I you know I'm just seeing a lot of quality guitars uh for pretty short money and you know and, and we've talked about this you know ad nauseum but you know these smaller companies that are trying to break in and and trying to make a name for themselves you know against the big names that have been around for you know 20 30 40 years 50 years 60 years you know those brands um you know have a you know have a, a brand you know to, to to rest you know on and and companies like this have to really you know punch up hard to, to make it to make it into the marketplace and I feel like you know Don is doing that that they've really um, you know uh, given a whole new word to to value because and this will be my last uh, sort of point um, you know if you looked at the price of this guitar and you went back to buy this and say like you walk into a store in like 1988 and you say oh this is a nice guitar how much is this guitar in 1988, this guitar would be $85. <laughs> I worked at a music store in 1988. I assure you, the cheapest guitar we sold was $129. And it was like, like one-tenth the quality of this guitar. I mean, those guitars were just garbage. It took until about 250 bucks to get to a guitar of like this quality. So it just goes to show you how manufacturing has just gotten so, so much better. CNC, it's really, it's CNC, right? You, you take away so much of that hand labor and, uh, you know, you're able to pr bring a product to market at a much more competitive price. All right, dudes, as always, thanks so much for hanging out and rock on.